Mark Meadows, RNC, the influential leader of the Conservative House Freedom Caucus, is poised to play a major role in deciding the next speaker if House Republicans maintain the majority in November. Last month, in a speech to the National Press Club, Sen. Jeff Flake made a charge that has become common among disillusioned Republicans. Donald Trump is corrupting, true conservatism, with his authoritarian style, neo-isolationist foreign policy, lack of fiscal discipline, and opposition to free trade. Paul Ryan, R. Weiss, who served as speaker in one of the most topsy-turvy periods of Republican Party history, announced Wednesday that he will retire at the end of this Congress. Central Intelligence Agency Director Mike Pompeo will rate the media for labeling him a hawk when he delivers prepared remarks during his Secretary of State confirmation hearing before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee Thursday. Central Intelligence Agency Director Mike Pompeo, who has been nominated to be Secretary of State, will say during his Senate confirmation hearing Thursday that the U.S. soft policy responding to Russia's aggression abroad is over, according to excerpts of his prepared remarks. Famed lawyer Alan Dershowitz discussed a theory, Wednesday, one day after meeting with President Trump, about how the Hollywood Access tape was illegally recorded. Former White House Chief Strategist Steve Bannon is advising White House officials and congressional aides on a strategy designed to thwart special counsel Robert Mueller's ongoing Russia investigation, according to a new report. A spokesman for the Homeland Security Department announced late Wednesday that Secretary Kirsten Nielsen's Thursday trip to see new wall construction on the southwest border has been cancelled. House Republicans face their toughest re-election in years and could go to battle with insufficient resources to defend their majority after Speaker Paul Ryan, R. Weiss, rendered himself a lame duck by announcing he would retire from Congress. Conservative commentator Eric Erickson provided a clue about the identity of the mystery U.S. congressman that torched President Trump in a recent interview. A man accused of threatening to kill Rep. Maxine Waters, D. Califf, over her criticisms of President Trump is expected to plead guilty in court next week, according to a report Wednesday. Lawmakers have determined that the testimony of a woman who had an affair with Republican Missouri Gov. Eric Greitens was credible, including her claims that some of the sexual encounters she had with Greitens were not consensual. On the day Ryan announced he was serving his last term as a House member, though, he declined to say who should replace him. Lamar Alexander, R10, is blaming a mischievous gremlin at the White House for a bad policy in President Trump's fiscal 2019 budget that would sell off the electric transmission assets of the Tennessee Valley Authority, a large public power utility, in his state. Republican lawmakers on Wednesday praised retiring House Speaker Paul Ryan's leadership on entitlement reform despite falling short of major legislation on the issue.